Alright, welcome back guys to the channel. Welcome back to some more monster reactions, man. Today we're gonna be doing 11 and 12. Yes. Last two episodes were great. I enjoyed them very much, so I had a lot of thoughts. I paused a couple of times to talk about certain things that I saw about the episode, my experiences, and stuff like that, and just give you guys a little bit more insight into this long and turbulent life that I've had um, over these 30-something odd years. And it's it's been a journey, to say the least, you know, and, I, I, and I'm still here. Uh, I'm still trying to make the best out of you know life itself and just try to live it up to the um to the fullest man live life to the fullest but not in the way that you might be thinking because you know usually when people say they're living life to the fullest they're doing very careless things you know what i'm saying and for me it's just like when i say that um you know it's not out of arrogance or anything like that but i am trying to live life to the fullest and get a lot of things done that I've never experienced before, you know, um, and things that I've always been fascinated about, but a little bit too scared, you know what I'm saying, to really take that extra leap to go get these things done or to do these things or to try these things, you know what I'm saying, or at least try it once to see if I like it or not. I think one of the things that we, that we do in life that could really help us um, is to try things, even though it's not off your culture or how you grew up. Step, step outside of the box sometimes and just try something that's new. You'll be surprised. A lot of this stuff that I've tried in my life, like, um, jumping out of an airplane and, you know, doing, doing certain things, you know, now, as I talked about in the last episode, I want to go hunting. I want to go try to hunt. I want to hold a gun, something I've never done in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to go try it. I want to do it. I want to see, you know, not only what is the fascination, you know, with people who have a ton of guns. They never, they're not in the military or anything, but they just own a ton of guns. You know, people, there's several people in the United States that own gun collections. You know what I'm saying? They just, they just have this fascination with it. Some people do gun competitions. I just want to know what's the fascination. They don't have no intention of killing anyone, but they just have a gun collection because they just like how it looks, just like how somebody who just has a, a fascination with cars and they have a ton of car, ton of different types of cars, whether they're classics, whether they're new cars, whatever the situation, they just have a car collection. Um, to give you guys an example, like, um, Seinfeld he just has this huge fascination with Porsches and he has a huge collection of Porsches he actually has a freaking I don't know if it's a two or three level garage that he has just Porsches it's crazy I mean I mean it's he's Seinfeld you know what I'm saying he's made a ton of money so he can afford to do that but at the same time they are people who on 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 a much smaller scale you know what I'm saying, do have a collection of cars, you know what I'm saying, um, classic cars, they will, I know people who spend tons of money on their cars, you know what I'm saying, buy cars and, and, and fix them up and, and resell them and stuff like that, so there's different fascinations in life, and I think one of the things that we do as human beings is to, you're so inside of a pocket or a culture where you feel like you can't step out and do other things. You get what I'm saying? That is outside of your culture. You know what I'm saying? Do stuff that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying to do crazy things that just doesn't make any sense. Like I, I see people do stuff that put their life in danger, like literally in danger. Like if you make a mistake, you're dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. I'm, I'm not going to do, you know what I'm saying? Um, skydiving is a lot more safe than you would think <laughs> you actually, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? It takes a lot to dive from skydiving. It, it, it takes a lot. There's a lot of variables, things that has to happen for you to die during skydiving. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's so many things. You know what I'm saying? Like, your parachute don't come out or something like that. There's there, there's two backups. 
parachute that you can have um, dur during a, a skydiving situation. So if one fails, there's always a backup, right? So there's so many things that, ha that has to go wrong for, you know what I'm saying, for you to die from skydiving, you know what I'm saying? Um, just like how, you know, it's kind of unbelievable to think that flying in an airplane is the safest way to travel it is because the 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 um it's the least amount of traffic that you could have you're more likely to die in a in a car accident than die in a plane accident because it, it just how it is there's less traffic to deal with you get what i'm saying the the thing the amount of things that had to happen for a plane to crash the amount of things that has to go wrong for a plane to crash you get what i'm saying so the variables are just not there but i think one of the things that we do deprive ourselves as human beings you know is to not try new things some people don't have a choice and i i understand that some people the choice is not presented to them for them to have that opportunity to, to experience these things but if you do you know what i'm saying like living in the united states and it's not only about money. It doesn't take a lot of money to experience different things, guys. It doesn't. So do the research and don't think that it takes a ton of money to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, and you can save up and do things, man. One of the things that I encourage people to do all the time, I know I'm saying a lot in the intro, okay? Deal with it. Okay. I, think, I think one of the things that we deprive ourselves to is uh, or what I always tell people to do is at least try to travel, go to other countries, see other countries, see how they live, see how, see what their culture is like. You never know. You might like it. Like for me, I love Japanese culture, right? I, I just love it. And, it. and what created my fascination with it is anime. I wanted to see what it's like, like we we're enjoying something that another country primarily makes you get what i'm saying like we're enjoying that in the u.s or wherever you are other than japan and the country like we know anime comes out of japan right there are other countries that make anime but japan is like the main monster right so go there experience it man or i just wanted to know what it's like for them that is created just like how we enjoy the NBA or the stuff that are created here, like the Hollywood movies and stuff like that. Like what is it like for them? They created the anime. So what is, what is their culture like? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what is it like? Do they, you know what I'm saying? And I can tell you this from experience. You haven't experienced what, what anime is like until you experience that shit, the, the culture in Japan, you have not really experienced it you know what i'm saying like it is something else the way how they idolize these characters and stuff like that like you see it all over just like how you'll see billboards of big actors denzel washington um travolta you know what i'm saying all these big actors that we have over here you'll see their big board for their movies coming out or whatever it's the same thing with anime over there like it's just crazy you know what i'm saying so it's it's amazing it's amazing. So I encourage you guys to do that. Let's jump into these episodes and I will see you guys for the review. <laughs> There is the name. Jeez. I'm gonna back that up a bit because I don't know what he just said. But yeah, that is the name I was trying to remember in the last episode when the guy was talking about the wall. It's the Berlin Wall. I was trying to remember the freaking capital because I know it's the capital of Germany, right? I know it's the capital of Germany. It was the name of the wall. I was trying to remember that. I couldn't remember it. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to remember, but I ended up saying I, I don't remember what's the name of the wall. <laughs> but yes, it's the Berlin Wall, right? So I couldn't remember, but you guys, hopefully you remember to do what I asked you to do. So let's pull that back a little bit. あの、ここは旧東ドイツで 
There goes that name again. Huh? Liebert. リーベルト氏のことを調べに来ただけ。なんだ客じゃないのかよ。すみません。どうしても知りたいことがあったもので。10年前に亡命した役人のことなんか知らないよ。リーベルト夫妻はこちらにいるとき双子の兄弟を引
use and and go forward in life i'm not interested in. i hate reading but i do it when it's going to teach me something that i really want to know and something that's going to stay with me for the rest of my life history is a toss-up when it comes on to those things it's either you want to know or you don't want to know you get what i'm saying is it essential for me to know that the berlin wall existed probably not i'm just saying <laughs> and i'm being real is it really essential that we know all this history? That is it really essential? You get what I'm trying to say? Is it really that essential? Like people want to come and they want to talk about certain things. And I know the episode just started and I'm already talking for like three minutes, but I don't care. We, 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 this, we doing this. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times people will say, I'm a channel. Oh, don't talk about that. Cause you don't know anything about it. Right. Listen, I talk about the human condition here and everything that you hear me talk about is always going to revert back to that is us showing love, more love in this world than than hate. You can't argue against that. And if you're arguing against that, then you have a problem. I don't. Because if you look at it and say, oh, you shouldn't speak on certain things because you don't know. Um, like somebody in my comment section the other day was talking about, I shouldn't talk about blackface because I don't know anything about it. If you are really letting white people dressed up as black people affect, I, I, I just don't understand why do these things because of a history behind it. Are you freaking kidding me? If that's still affecting you in 2020, my God. How broken are you? You get what I'm trying to say, guys? Like, there's just certain things that just does not need to be in this bright light all the time. And, and to be exaggerated. And you get what I'm trying to say? Like, at the end of the day, if that's what, if that's what white people want to do, you, man, dude, man, whatever. Because it's not going to affect me in any way because you're doing that. I don't care. Because for me, I sit down and, and, and sometimes I imitate white people. I imitate them sometimes. They're doing an imitation of me being a black person and want to talk like me or want to use Ebonics like me. Why am I going to get offended by that because of some incident or what they used to do back in slavery days. What? You get what I'm trying to say? Like, why is that affecting us? <laughs> it's confusing. Can these people do any anything right in your eyes? Is is, And that's where it goes. It's like, can they really do anything right? And that's how they feel. You get what I'm saying? It's because I'm telling you this from... from experience of when a, a white person does not want to be racist but you know what i'm saying they may come off as racist and you have to really tell them hey you might not want to do that around certain people because certain people is probably going to call you out i won't because i'm not affected by it it doesn't affect me it doesn't bother me and then when a black person is going to tell me oh it should bother you that's where it becomes a problem for me that's where it becomes a problem for me because now me and you is in the thick of things now because how, who are you to tell me what should bother me and what shouldn't you get what I'm saying? I'm sorry, guys. I do this sometimes. <laughs> I feel talkative today. Okay. もの鍵閉めますから出てください。誰か10年前のこと、リーベルトさんを覚えてる人はいませんか。さっきも言ったけど、心はもっと政府高官の住宅地だからね。壁が壊れたら大体が散り散りに逃げ出ししまって、特に
自由の国に行ったんだかわからないよねしかも殺されてリーベルトさんには双子の兄弟の子供がいませんでしたか双子の兄弟ああ Wow, he has to think about it 思い出したリーベルトさんが孤人から引き取ったあの双子孤人 Oh, yeah, we all we knew that they were adopted, but リーベルトさんずっと子供を欲しがってたしねそ,その孤人はえー、っと確かあ、I、think we did know that, right? あそうだ。I'm not... 511キンダーハイムだと思うな。I'm trying to remember if we knew or we didn't know that, he, that they were adopted. I'm pretty sure that was mentioned that it wasn't that. I think the girl mentioned it a couple episodes ago. The Pink Panther like Let's let, let's, <laughs> let's let the intro ride, you know what I'm saying? I could actually probably live stream watching Monster. I could probably do it. So I don't think we would get flagged for watching it live, to be honest. あのちょっとこの孤児院の関係者の方は知りませんか関係者そんなもの残ってるわけないだろう<笑>このことは話したくないねああ好きにあああのどうしても話を聞きたいっていうなら47番地に元厚生省のハルトマンって男がいるよ Just getting sent everywhere. This man is chasing leads. This man is a doctor turned, de turned detective. Ah, Boku. Kono Henny Hartoman Santis to Sunday Nikana. Well, damn, Osta. Kegas to the Nikah. Miss it, Ura. I joke, Dio.
about that. That's probably not a sport injury or whatever. Called it. So, no, what you are, Mina. Kingashido is Hokaimo, what I sing a Satoya to stay he took the tongues. Satoya? Eh. Okay, so he's, yeah, he's still taking care of one. Okay, so what I want to know is, because I'm getting the information, you guys, because I know a lot of you guys that are watching this right now, you probably maybe had this experience or maybe you know more about this history than i do so let me know in the comment section what was it about because i don't know i don't know the specifics of what the why the berlin wall was up in the first place right so you have east germany you have west germany right what were they beefing about why was it created why was this wall put up in the first place um, what caused this, you know, quote unquote civil war? Was it like rich versus poor? Is that what the wall was up for? It was like rich people on the one side, poor people on the other side. Like, let me know what it was about. Give me some specifics. Yeah. <laughs> あ、当時旧東ドイツの孤児院は多かれ少なかれあんなもんでしたが子供たちは何をされても仕方ない立場だった。あそこは社会主義、全体主義の矛盾そのものだったのです。政府は全くどっちが犯罪者なんだか。特別個人を支配していたのは恐怖と暴力だったんです。あそこではとても妹の方は別の地区の孤児院に預けられましたからよく知ってます。しかし、兄のヨハンのことはよく知っています。ヨハン、そうです。ヨハンのことが聞きたいんです。彼は最高機密でした。ほら。ヨー。Bro, hold up, hold up. You were talking no subtitles on the screen, homeboy. We gonna back that up. Did they block that out on purpose? What the hell? No, we going back. You were t you said something I didn't see. No subtitles, bro. Did they do that on purpose? Are you literally just called to do the cycle, I think. 
まあ今となっては過ぎ去ったことだし事件について話しても構わんと思うが何ですか事件ってヨハンがヨハンが何をしたんです革命ですよ He let a rip How old is this dude, bruh? How the hell is a kid running a revolution? ちゃんとご挨拶しなさい。ディータ。ディータ。なんだそのタイトルは。ちゃんとご挨拶しないか。え、いや、もうさっき家の前で会ってるんです。な。あ、それで今の話の続きなんですが。いや、子供の前では
ディータのこの傷はどうしてついたのかと聞いているんです関係ないでしょうあなたのような人殺しで追われている人間にはおや I will put two between your eyes, nigga. Keep talking. I'm not going to be able to get out of this. I'm not going to be able to get out of this. I'm not going to be able to get out of this. I'm not going to be able to get out of this. Kidnapping. Look at him. Nah, bro. We out. We out, bro. Daijo, we did that. Sugu, you need to let it get. You're in Koi. Koak Nankanaisa. Oisa Sanga Chanto now secretes up. It I know. It's my heart to my Sanga now secretes. He's a doctor too. I don't know if he's a doctor. 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 I don't know if he's a You put, you put shit like that into kids' heads. My God, man. でもね、今休館で立て込んでて治療までかなり時間がかかりますよ。しかし、そこをなんとか。でもとても大きな事故があって。トラックの運転手にぜひ事故の状況を聞きたいんですがね。両足骨折なら喋れるでしょう。まず
リーベルと死が引き取る話も最初はヨハン一人ってことだったんだけど妹も一緒じゃなきゃ嫌だっておかげでアンナは幸せになったんだね当時の東側の個人はひどい状況だったと聞いていますが511キンダーハイムと一緒にしないでほしいよ大丈夫、大丈夫。怖いことなんて何にもないよ。さあ、一人でトイレに行けるでしょ。あの子たちは本当の親の愛情というものを知る。人間として成長していくには愛情しかないのよあんたの言った通り当時の東側の個人はそりゃひどいものだったわここもね元は47個人なんて数字で呼ばれる場所だったでも私たちはそれでも何とかしようと必死にやってきた少しでも政府の言いなりにならないように511キンダーハイムのようにならないようにねあそこは厚生省と内務省共同管轄の特別個人だったけどその意味がわかるいえ内情はね内務省によって管理されてたのよだってあそこは旧東ドイツの実験場だったんだからおおシェットそれキッズ were being experimented on? like for what? And slowly. That's crazy. That that is actually kind of nuts. Like they were experimenting on the kids, but for what? Like, what were they trying to do with them? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm here trying to guess stuff. I I don't know. I couldn't tell you even if I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know, but I guess that will be revealed at some point. Let's get to the next episode. あの子たちここに来る前は本当に二人っきりだったんだからねチェコスロバキアの国境線あたりで保護された時も手をつないで歩いてたそうよ二人寒さで震えながら当時の東側の個人はひどい状況だったと聞いていますが五一一キンダー
人間階層の権利。Human programming. Damn. コチたちにとトークマセ。その中で彼らがどうにくにゅう。どう争いやかの観察。あわれみを全く感じない。冷徹な人間をいかに生み出すかのち。そんな子供たちが成長して。どんな人間になるか想像がつく。キャラス。でも今となっちゃあそこで行われていたことを証明する手立てはない。壁崩壊直前にそれに関する資料は燃やされてしまったらしいからね。プロジェクトに関わった内務省関係者も逃亡したし。でも私聞いたことがあるんだ。たった一人だけ。うまく経歴をごまかしてこの国にとどまれた人間がいるってそいつが511キンダーハイムの悪魔のプロジェクトを観察していた人物だって彼の本当の身分は内務省警察に所属する小児専門の精神科医だったらしい That makes a lot of sense. 厚生省の地区担当官とか言いながらね厚生省の地区担当官The plot, the plot thickens. <laughs> oh shit, is that nigga? Oh damn, and he still got a kid, the same one that's over there abusing the kid. Yamino Nakadakedo. Then, Jiken, go each to Kinderheim, the Nani Hokitan Disco. Just a shabby sing tayone. Yanako to my dash chat. Only I smas. あそこで何があったか教えてください。サッカーボールは？え？僕の、僕のサッカーボールは？ああ。はい、ここにあるわよ。でも。サッカーは怪我が治るまで終わってよもうすぐあのおじさんが迎えに来るって言ってたからそれまで静かに寝てるのよ私もね本当のことを知ってるわけじゃないよ当時東ドイツ政府は徹底した観光令を敷いたからね最初は511キンダーハイムの院長の変死から始まったその直後教官たちの間で院長の後釜を狙っての勢力争いが起きたの院内は無政府状態になったらしい子供たちの内部構想もコントロールできない状況だったあそこからよくヨハンは出られたもんだよそれで511キンダーハイムはどうなったんですかみんな死んだのさ教官を含めて個人のメンバー全員があそこで殺し合ったんだよ。よ。なあ、ブラ。ヨハン、トゥッマウ。ヨハン、トゥッマウ。世界が真っ暗だなんて大嘘だ。明日はきっといい日だ。ディータ。お迎えが来たわよ。<笑>なあ。It's not Tenma. Oh shit! That smile went away real quick. Damn it, Tenma, you should have stayed with the kid, man. Ne, Haruto man, san, uchi ni kaeru njanai no. Ya, yori michi shite iko. Ah, asoko wa yada yo. いいと。いいとは。いい子だろう。ジーズ、this show is dark, bro。なんだって。私が帰ってくるまで、ジータを渡さないでくれって言ったでしょう。で、でも。あの人、あの子の里親ですよ。それにとても紳士的な人だったわ
あなたよりずっとねいやしかしあの男はそれにあの子自分から進んで彼についていった。Of course he's gonna willingly left with him, you dumbass. I can't stand people. Ah, he didn't tell him about the till Tita. He didn't tell them about the abuse, so I can't even blame them either. Tita. Tita. So this man just left his door open. No nut bus when you see Johan now. Jeez. God damn it, man. Sometimes when, when anime do this, Johan. it's <laughs> it's just like you can predictably know. I know. That's why you're nut busting because you see a picture of him and Johan. Well, it's not him, actually. Oh, 511. そう。写真は全て合一時金だ入るで撮られたんだ。Right? <笑> That's where he's taking the kid back to? Come on, man. I'm telling you, bruh. Talk about a, a dark anime, bruh. Shit. What are these experiments, though? Like, what kind of experiments? Is it like brain experiments or is it torture? You know what I'm saying? What is the experiment? You know what I mean? Tita! To a child, man. Tita, wait. Now go. Oh, 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 この子も余半じゃない。みんな、みんな死んでいた。10年前の話だ。教官も孤児も50人全員が生き絶えていた。<笑> 
ヨハンはそれを眺めていたこの場所から彼は眺めていた<笑>ヨハンはただ眺めていたのだ Probably didn't even affect him at all. Johann ni tazneta yo. Ittai. Ittai nani o shitanda to. Kare wa kou kotaita. Kou shite abura no shimikonda no no pakibi ni kaza shite ne. Dou da. この意味がわかるかね人が集まると憎しみが生まれる僕はそれにほんの少し油を注いだだけだよこう言ったんだよわずか10歳の少年がだよそして彼はやってのけたんだ自分は指一本動かさずに50人もの人間を殺し合わせたんだあなたたちのあなたたちの実験が彼をそんな人間にしてしまったんじゃないか私たちがそんなとんでもないとんでもないよ<笑>確かに511キンダーハイムは実験場だった孤児たちを完璧な兵士に育て上げるプロジェクトもね今から思えばそれもささやかな実験だところがヨハンはどうだ彼が兵隊とんでもない。彼は生まれながらの指導者だ。彼は頂点に立つべき人間だったんだよ。私たちがあんな芸術品を作れるわけがない。彼は最初から人間以上、怪物のような存在だったんだ。彼は予言した。人間は結局みな憎み合い殺し合う。ヨハンの目標は何だったと思うね彼はこう言ったんだこの世の終わりにたった一人生き残ることだとねヨハン is a nut job, okay? Let's just say that <笑>ピーター明日は暗闇だお前も少しでもヨハンに近づかないとなのにどうしてダメなんだどうしてヨハンのようにややめろハルトマンこれ以上暴力を振れば撃つ出て行ってくれこれは私たちの問題だ。出て行ってくれ。ディーター降りてくるんだドクター・テンマあんた、ヨハンのことを知りたいんでしょヨハンのことを知ってどうする見つけ出して殺そうなんて無理な話だと思うよ。ふん。まあいい。一つだけ情報をあげようその代わりそれを聞いたら私たちのことはほっておいてくれウォルフ将軍を探せ最初にヨハンの才能を見出したのは彼だきっとどこかで生きているはずだよあなたの書斎にあったあの写真の男がヨハンと一緒に写っていたあの男がヨハンを連れてきたのも彼だしあの人なら何か知っているさあ行ってくれリーターそこから降りるか降りないか自分で決めるんだ心配いらないハルトマンがライフルの引き金に指をかけたら私が撃つ
リーター自分で決めろ君自身で決めるんだ<笑>私と別れるなんてできるわけないよなリーターだってお前は私の子供だもの。そういうわけだ、ドクター天馬。さあ、消えてくれ。うん。いけら。オッケー。オッケー、ディーダー、レスゴー。one foot in front of the other、let's get it。yeah。Come on now. Get away from this psycho ass bitch ass nigga, man. Let's go. Dita. Dita. Daisob. So, no, mama. You quit. Let's go, man. Dita. One foot in front of the other. Let's go. Nah, bruh. Nah, bro. You a bitch. <laughs> He don't need you. Let's go. Love you. Man. You should just, just fall over in the fire. We'll all be okay. Tenma's old man said that tomorrow is a good day. Dita! Dita! Ugly ass people in this world, man. Jeez. I'm so glad he got up, bro. Yeah. Call the police on him. Come on. Brainwashing the kids, man, into thinking they can't be normal and shit. Koko kara bus ni notte, kyu nen doori de oriru nda. Sugu me no mae no kojin da. Soko no Eruna Tite te sensei ni kore o watasu nda. Mita me wa okkanai kedo, ne wa sukkoku yasashii oba san da. Genki de na. Watashi wa wake atte machi ni wa ikenai. Koko de o wakare da. あと二三分でバスが来る。それじゃな。サッカー上手くなるんだぞ。ダメだ。私についてきちゃう。それ。ああ、ブラ。いいだ。ダメだって言ってるだろ。私についてきちゃう。Good luck with that. <laughs> I mean, I don't agree with the fact that I would take the risk to make sure he's safe at the orphanage at least. I wouldn't just leave him out there in the open to take a bus by himself. All right. Two excellent episodes again. This series. Is not yet, or I don't know if if it will ever. Yeah, you know I'm saying, become any kind of nuisance or anything like that. I think the story is just it's being incredibly told, from what we know, and I still know that. I mean, we got maybe sixty episodes to go. I think there's like seventy four episodes in the series, and you know. I don't know. What are we going to see for the next twenty, thirty episodes? You know what I mean? Like, there's so much to this story. You know, it, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. So, cut off here, and then we'll I'll come back for the review. All right. So let's review episodes eleven and twelve. A really good episode. I promise this one's not gonna be 19 minutes, okay? Let's <laughs> anyways. Um, so yeah, two very episodes. We learned a lot. 
in these two episodes of course we learned about um the 511 uh, what is it Frenheim Frenheim <laughs> what's the name of the damn place man Einhelm or whatever the name of that place is Kinderheim Kinderheim that's the name of the place Kinderheim 511 we learned about it um, what they were doing experimented on the kids Johan was there but I'm I'm pretty sure I mean, if he was there, that simply means that maybe his sister wasn't there because everybody died except for specialist dude over here and a Johan, right? Johan. All right. There are certain things that if you go back into history and look at every like infamous serial killer, right? Their childhood is not never the greatest because there's certain things about them that you just notice from an early age. It's not surprising to me that Johan was like this from a young age. It, it doesn't surprise me. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, because he's being portrayed as this, like this serial killer, emotionless person. And they were experimenting on the kids to figure out who they could find these heartless, emotionless soldiers they were trying to build. And this is not the first time I've heard of this um, situation that happened in Germany. They actually did do this back in, I, I don't, I think it's World War II, right? I mean, who knows? It might have been World War I too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this is Germany. This is some Hitler shit, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't surprise me at all that they would try to, the author would kind of um, try to um, draw from that kind of inspiration. You get what I'm saying? For the story, you know, um, I've heard of it. I don't know how true it is. You know what I'm saying? Of if they actually did this or not. I don't know if it was true or not, but I have heard like is something that Germany did, that Hitler did to kids and you know even young men you know what I'm saying to see if they can train these and have these heartless emotionless soldiers that didn't care they just go out there just killing machines you know what I'm saying as if they were gonna make them bulletproof but you know you want you want soldiers that doesn't necessarily show emotion but at the same time you do have to have soldiers that can temper that emotion they know when to be mad know when to be sad because that's how a lot of soldiers end up having ptsd at the end because there is no outlet you get what i'm saying they can be as hardened when they're in it but when when that's not the life anymore they don't know how to act you know what I'm saying? And they don't know how to act and they can act irrational when they're living among regular civilians. They can act irrational. It's a part of PTSD. It's not the entire reason because a lot of them, even the ones with emotions, go over there. And because of how seeing all of that killing and, you know, them killing people, it can affect them afterwards in such a way where they can't, you can't sleep. You know what I'm saying? You go crazy against regular people who's, you know what I'm saying, might just raise their voice at you. You might go at them a, a certain way, like, you know what I'm saying? You might pull a gun on them, and you know what I'm saying? That's just all a part of PTSD, but um, creating these kind of monsters, if you want to call them that, it's just not the way how it should be. You know what I'm saying? It's just not how the way it should be. It is so inhuman. You know what I mean? So it's just not the way how it should be. I think emotion has to be in everything. You know what I'm saying? It has to be in everything because it's a part of us. You get what I'm saying? And you can choose what that emotion should be. You get what I'm saying? You can choose what that, how should I respond in this situation? That's why we think about things. Now, for certain things, you know what I'm saying? It's always going to be logic over emotion. Emotions matter, but logic is even better because you think through 
and then you respond or you think through and then you act you get what i'm saying that's what la what what logic is so we can't act out of emotion because when you act out of emotion more than likely it's going to be irrational sometimes you do do the right things when you're emotional but it's very rare that you do the right things when you're per say you're angry it's very rare that you do the right things when you're angry it's just like you could get angry and cuss out your mama it's not right to cuss out your mama but you're angry and it's irrational for you to do that because you've been like if i was calm if i was not angry would i have cussed out my mama in a calm way no it would not happen <laughs> okay so um it's just it is what it is but i like how they contrast certain things in this anime to real life and also the story being told here you know what i'm saying of the history behind how johan became the way he came but it's not really about how he became it's more of how he's always been you get what i'm saying it's just that certain things have proved it's like and it is the truth there's a lot of issues here because you hear the guy talk about people are always going to hate each other people are always going to do this and if you feed into that mentality it can drive you nuts to think that there's no absolutely no good in the world absolutely nobody is you know what i'm saying that the world is just a dark place and is 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 you know what i'm saying if somebody is feeding that to you as a child how do you think that child is going to turn out they're going to turn out just like Dieter because Dieter just has this idea it's like there's no escape from this this is it for me there's so if somebody comes in and says to you i mean look at the first meeting that he had with dr tenma it was like is is this abusive guy or no, nobody is no good so that's the reason why he was refusing he was you know what i'm saying like he was very standoffish even though he was hurt and was outside you know and all dr tenma did was just ask him a question he was like you know what i'm saying and you could you could kind of put that up to be like oh he's just being a kid because kids are like that you know kids will ignore you you ask them questions they don't know you they just go about their business but for the most part it was an innocent question and a lot of time kids are more likely to help you than ignore you you get what i'm saying and more than like especially if they know exactly who you're talking about like anywhere you go like i could be walking on the street i used to do door-to-door -door sales okay and anyway, if you act, if you see a kid outside playing and you ask them, hey, I'm here to see, you know, Mr. Johnson or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, do you know if Mr. Johnson is home? A kid would more likely to tell you, well, I haven't seen him, you know, today, but I know that they live two houses down. You know what I'm saying? Like a kid is more likely to help you if it's an innocent question. It's not weird. Like you're, you know what I'm saying? Like it's very rude kids that would probably completely ignore you and just walk away you get what i'm saying or they'll say uh my mommy said i shouldn't talk to strangers or something like that you know what i'm saying but they are going to respond they're not going to just look at you weird and then walk away you get what i'm saying so it's just so obvious that something was going on i just didn't pick up on it until like after the fact when he when they were in the house at coffee because i i didn't think this guy was bad at first I would have never thought that he was a bad guy abusing the kid like i would have never thought that so the way how he looked at him when tenma left i was like oh shit this is the dude that has been hurting the kid and you can see all the scars on his body and stuff like that i do not like listen a good whooping is a good whooping but you gotta know you know what i'm saying you gotta restraint you gotta have restraint you know what i mean you have to have restraint when you when you're doing when you're hitting your hitting your child you got to have restraint you got to know where to hit him you, you can't just just be throwing fists breaking their arms and breaking ribs and stuff like that at some point you got to look at it and be like uh no but some parents just don't care and that's what i'm saying like i got whoopings as a child i got beatings you know what i'm saying like um and to the point i think i talked about it on the channel already where 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 i was saying that i think my dad was abusive he went overboard 
the way how he beats his kids. He went overboard because he didn't care what he was using to beat you. You get what I'm saying? He doesn't care if at the end of the day, you look like a crooked stick. He did not care. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so that's abuse. And my mom hated it. She hated it. You know what I'm saying? And to this day, my mom, you know, you know, a lot of times it's certain things that she don't understand with my relationship with my dad. She's like, you know, she keeps telling me you should move past it and blah, blah, blah. And I have moved past it, but I do act a certain way around him because I want him. I do want him to understand I'm a grown ass man now, even though he still wants to treat me like I'm 10 years old. So I have to stand my ground with him. You get what I'm saying? But he's still that dude. He's set in his ways. You know what I'm saying? 70 years old. He's still set in his ways. There's no change in him now. You know what I'm saying? If you give him the opportunity to beat you, he's going to beat you at 70 years old and me here at 30 something, 30 something years old. And I'm not even joking. He's that dude. You know what I'm saying? And we do act a little different towards him, but it's not in no hatred kind of way. I have forgiven him for those, you know, abuse, abusive things that he, that he would do. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? And there's certain things, the way how he talks to you, like he is like, he can't have a man to man conversation with you because he still thinks, even though he's getting older, you're getting older. He really does still think that you're a child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And what are you going to do about that? You can't do anything about that. So you just, it is what it is, <laughs> you know? Um, you know, I, I tell my mom all the time, I don't think I'm going to cry when he passes. This is what it is. If I do, I do, but I, I just don't feel like that now at this point in my life. I don't feel like if he passes away now that I would, that I would cry. I would feel any way about it. I don't think I'm going to, to miss him. You get what I'm saying? And that's just how I feel about it at this current moment in my life. Maybe I'll feel different when it happens later on down the line, five, 10 years from now, or whenever, 30 years from now, I might feel different. But at this current time in my life today that I'm recording this video, I don't feel like if he passed away now, if my, if I get the call right now and it's a pat, I don't think I would feel, I would be like, all right, I'll be there at the funeral. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Like you think I'm joking. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know, that's how I feel towards him. And it's not hatred. It's just that. And it's not, it's not hatred. It's not good riddance either. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. I love him. I just don't like anything that he brought to the table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just don't, I could, I could do without it. You get what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day. Um, so, uh, so yeah, man, I do understand what Dieter was going through in certain aspects of it. Um, you know, I mean, I never got no broken arms or broken ribs or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But in terms of, you know, what he would choose to pick up and hit me with, you get what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, are you thinking straight? No, this shit was planned out, my dude. It was planned out. He planned to use that to beat you. Cause most beatings are planned. They don't just happen. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A lot of beatings is planned out. It's like, look what I'm going to do when you get home, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's very, when you get beatings on the spots, it's never like, let me go grab a belt. <laughs> Cause if you go and grab a belt, I'm out. If you're going to go grab a belt, I'm out. I'm not standing there for you to come whoop my ass. No, <laughs> you know, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? So I like the fact that, um, that Tenma is just, I didn't like the fact that he was trying to, I know he, he can't go back into town, but I would take the risk to make sure that the kid is safe. You know what I mean? So that was kind of out there a little bit. So when it comes on to this, this kid, man, I'm glad that he got out of that situation, but we learned a lot more about Johan 
about his past always been a psycho you know what i'm saying and it's a psychological problem you know what i'm saying it's a psychological problem it could be you know from birth you know what i'm saying it is what it is so um i'm looking forward to see how this is going to turn out because it looks like in my opinion right now i'm thinking that johan probably has a gang or something or there's or maybe he's training people to be like him he has a very strong scent power of suggestion which i said in the last reaction i did and the last review i did where i was talking about him having a strong power of suggestion kind of voice where we can just he knows how to prey on the weaknesses of humans and he can get them to do things that they probably wouldn't have the balls to do or to think about doing by themselves because see the guy that committed suicide i think it was in episode 10 that guy was talking as if he doesn't know like he wasn't coherent coherent of who he is you get what i'm saying and i knew he was gonna kill himself because that gun was not for tenma that gun was for him and i knew he was about to kill himself because there's a lot of things that that even though he's explaining certain things he's also very doubtful about what he's saying you get what i'm saying so that was very the, the uh, one of the things that i never talked about in this series is the voice acting the voice acting is incredible even though we're we're not listening to it in dub and that's why a lot of times you see me guys i like to watch stuff in their original state not that i have anything against dub and i keep telling people i don't have anything against dub i've watched anime in dub like how i'm watching dark currently and I'm watching it in sub because that's the original long language. You're doing not only are you doing the the actual creation of this thing a disservice. You get what I'm saying? But I don't have anything against dub actors because they do a good job sometimes. Because it's not most of the time. It's very few good great dubs out there. But people push it as if it's the greatest thing on earth. You know what I'm saying? And it, you hardly can find good dubs out there. You get what I'm saying? And this is no shot at dub actors. You know what I'm saying? That transfer the stuff into English. I don't mind reading subtitles. I do not mind. I do it on English shit too. So I don't mind reading English subtitles. You know what I mean? So that's just it for that. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for you know sticking around i know my reviews have been long recently but that's just how much i'm enjoying this show where i can go off and i can talk about certain things and that's you know what i'm saying that's in relation to the show i used to do this a lot back in the game of thrones when i was doing game of thrones rome and all that i used to do some really long reviews um but i've stopped recently to try to kind of um ease down on the time that i do that to keep it within five to ten minutes but this series is really kind of bringing back that for me i used to do it in death note too i don't think i've ever done any death note reviews that were as long as these recent reactions that i've did um on this episode but these four episodes have really touched on some things that i really wanted to talk about so i'm just taking the time to do that but i appreciate you guys man hit that like button let me know what you think. Did you get whoopings as a child? You're probably going to say, hell yeah. But anyways, let me know in the comment section. You already know. You guys are doing good. I've seen how the reception the the, re the reception of, you know, um, the, the first like eight episodes, I think, that you guys got on the channel. Um, I really do um, appreciate you guys for showing up for that because you guys did suggest the show so i expected you guys to show up a lot of people that haven't seen this series are watching it with me now so i appreciate you guys for checking it out also i appreciate you guys man gratitude is never enough it's your boy terabyte i'm out peace